Before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to give a quick little announcement for any of you that were in my book club last year. It was through my Discord server. I've talked about it a few times on my channel. For 2024, we are moving the book club from Discord to my ASMR Patreon. So if you're still interested in joining, it's all done through my Patreon now. I'll link it down below with all the details as well. But for now, let's get into the video. Oh my God, I literally feel like I'm HRH collection. <laughs> Hi guys, so today, like you're already, you guys are already pissing me off. So today I got two coffees from Dutch Bros and we're going to be talking about my 2024 anticipated releases. I have a list. <laughs> okay, I'll stop channeling HRH collection. Uh, I just really needed to brush my hair the first week of the year and I thought it would be perfect to sit down in between running errands today I'm on my way to Trader Joe's actually um but I thought on my way we could sit down and talk about a bunch of the 2024 book releases that I am anticipating that I think you might want to add to your TBR or maybe you aren't aware of them we have a lot of romance a lot of fantasy but first I want to try my drinks I got a gummy bear rebel with the shine that you can add for new year's so i didn't get a great color for this i don't know if you can see but it's sparkly it's shimmering sparkling shimmering splendid that is good that is so good it's a little bit sour but and then they came out with protein iced latte this is a salted caramel protein iced latte it has like I think like 10 to 20 grams of protein, maybe like 13 for a small, 22 for a medium, I think. And like, as someone that I really am not a big breakfast gal, I don't wake up in the morning and like crave a meal. I usually like to just eat like a protein yogurt or something. Like this is really appealing to me. So I had to try it. Let's see how it is. That's good. If you handed me this and told me that this was just a salted caramel latte with like oat milk, I would believe you. I don't even know what this protein milk is, but it's good. Okay, I'm not even on my coffee grind. Lately, I've been much more of a energy drink or tea girl, but now we'll pull out my handy dandy little iPad and talk about these releases. Okay, so first up, I actually have an arc for this and I've started reading it and it is totally Taylor Swift inspired. It is The Breakup Tour. It comes out January 23rd. I did not write down the authors for this. It's Austin Sigmund Broca and his wife. Oh my gosh, why can't I remember her name? I think it's like Emily or something. I don't know, it'll be on the screen. But yeah, this is a second chance romance about this girl who is a famous pop star and she gets divorced and she's kind of in this new era of her life again very taylor swift inspired and she writes this breakup album and every song is about like a different relationship and it's a second chance romance with like one of the guys on the album but not her ex-husband it's like, like it's a guy that she had like a brief fling with and they reunite and like oh again i've started reading this comes out january 23rd if you like taylor swift if you like like famous pop star musician romance definitely put this on your tbr next probably no surprise but i'm gonna throw it in here anyway we have house of flame and shadow by sarah j mass comes out january 30th i will not be like reading this day of because i still need to read crescent city one and two most of y'all told me that i need to finish throne of glass first so i don't know i'm on the tandem read for throne of glass right now i'm like slowly but surely making my way through so once i finish throne of glass i am jumping into crescent city this year but eventually i will read this this year hopefully so house of flame and shadow am i the only one that hates this cover hate it anyway okay next we have another book that i have an arc for that i've also started that i am hyped it is bride by miss ali hazelwood this is ali hazelwood's paranormal romance debut it is a arranged marriage between a vampire and a werewolf like king alpha i think there might be a little bit of like alpha omega like maybe that's just werewolf talk but i'm like is this a megaverse? I don't know. I don't know what a megaverse is really, but I've started reading this. I'm about 20% of the way through and it definitely still has like that quirky, fun Allie Hazelwood writing style, but the world building and like 
the politics between the werewolves and the vampires. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not going to say too much about how I'm feeling about it, but this is coming out February 6th. And then we have on February 13th, Girl Abroad by L. Kennedy. Look, L. Kennedy is a very, very hit or miss author for me. I either like absolutely hate her books or they're fun. Um, she writes such just like messy kind of angsty goofy spicy new adult romance this one though in particular i really want to read because it's about this girl who goes over to london for i don't know how long and she ends up moving in with like two or three guys and like she's their roommate it's very like new girl vibes and i just think this is going to be really cool so I'm definitely going to be giving this a shot. Then also on February 13th, we have Magnolia Parks Into the Dark by Jessa Hastings. This will be the last book by Jessa Hastings that I will try. And if this disappoints me and if she flops this, we're done. Okay. Because the only books I've enjoyed by her are the Magnolia Parks books, Magnolia Parks, Magnolia Parks, The Long Way Home. And then this is the third. I did not like the Daisy Hates ones. I did not like Never, but I'm going to give her one more shot. And I do, I am really excited to see how BJ and Magnolia's story ends and like what happens. Like, are they going to end up together? I think so. But you never know with Jessa Hastings. So, okay. Then on March 5th, a little pre-birthday gift to me. We got The Prisoner's Throne by Holly Black. Oh my fucking God. This is like probably, ooh, I don't know. It's up there as like top, one of the top, top for me anticipated releases. This is the second book in the like Stolen Air duology. That's a spinoff of the Folk of the Air series. And in this book, I know we are going to get so much Jude and Carden. Like I am going to lose my fucking mind, but I'm also so excited to see what happens with like Oak and Ren and the situation that Oak is currently in right now, like, what? I'm so excited for this book. So, yeah, March 5th. And then also on March 5th, we have Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage. Look at this fucking cover, y'all. Wow. I, I hope we get more covers in this sort of art style going into 2024. Lila Sage, I think, is, like, the first one I've seen to do them. They're gorgeous. This is the second book in her small town romance series. I still haven't read Done and Dusted. I have it on my shelf. I'm going to read it but I also want to read this one too. What can I say? The covers, it, they're cover buys, but like, can you blame me? I don't know the tropes for this one. I just know that Swift and Saddled is brother's best friend. Oh, actually, I think this is the reverse. So this one is like, she gets with her brother's best friend in the first book. And then, so her brother gets with her best friend in this one, I think is how, which T bitch, T sounds fun. Okay. Then on April 2nd, we have The Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. I loved the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. I wasn't that interested in Five Survive, and I didn't hear the best reviews, but the plot of this one sounds really interesting, so I'm definitely going to pick it up when it releases. It's about this girl who I think her mother went missing, and then she gets invited to like do a documentary or a show about it, and as she's filming it, like stuff starts happening. I don't know. I, that's all I know. That's like the gist, but I could be totally off. That's just what I think. <laughs> but either way, I think Holly Jackson writes really, really fun and good, compelling, great YA mysteries. So next on April 9th, we have Wild Love by Miss Elsie Silver. I have loved every book that I've read by Miss Elsie. She's definitely one of my new favorite authors that I discovered in 2023. This is the first book in her new series, The Cover. Oh, I love the pink cover so much. It is gorgeous. I am a little apprehensive about this one because it is a billionaire. I don't know any of the other tropes or like the, the plot. I know it's still small town. Thank God. And I hate billionaire romance, but if anyone can make billionaire romance good, I feel like it will be Miss Elsie. So we'll see how it goes. Then, oh my God. Okay, this is probably also, I would say The Prisoner's Throne, Funny Story by Emily Henry, and then the next one are my top three, like most anticipated. Obviously, funny, funny story by Emily Henry. Like, duh. duh. Duh, 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 Okay. I don't even, I think this is roommates, but I do know he's wearing Crocs in the cover, which I love. I just, I love how Emily makes her characters like so real and modern, but not in a cringy way. So I just, I know I'm going to love the Crocs. Okay. I know people are worried about it, but I think it's going to be great. I don't know much about this other than I think they're roommates. So like forced proximity. And we love that. And I love Miss Emily Henry. I will read anything she writes. So then my third most anticipated 
of the year, definitely. Daydream by Hannah Grace. <laughs> can we just take a second? Can we just take a This comes out June 4th. And this is Henry's book. I don't know who the main, oh, is it Hallie? <gasps> Cause my name's Haley. And I think her name is like Hallie. Am I making that up? I don't know, but it's Henry and her. And if you zoom in on the cover photo, you might notice that she is wearing a folklore sweater. So I think she's gonna be very Taylor Swift coated. And Henry is my favorite, favorite, favorite guy in this Maple Hills like universe that she has. So I have been wanting Henry's book literally since Icebreaker. So I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And I'm pretty sure she tutors him. Like I just, everything about this, the plot, the synopsis, the cover. I think this is going to be my favorite book in the series. So again, I've already pre-ordered my copy. Okay, then June 11th, we have another Allie Hazelwood that is set to come out, Not In Love. I haven't heard much about this other than the cover. I've only like seen people share the cover, but I don't really know what the synopsis is or anything about it. I feel like most people are just talking about Bride, but the cover is stunning. Like this cover is hot. This cover is well, I think as far as her like adult romance covers, this is definitely my favorite and I, I like her writing, so, you know, I'll pick it up if it comes out. Then, of course, we have Play Along by Liz Tom Ford on June 11th. I don't know what sport this has to deal with or what tropes. I still need to read Caught Up, but Liz Tom Ford just writes such fun sports romance. If you like sports romance, each one of the books in this Windy City series, they're all set in Chicago, each one of the books, it follows a different athlete and they play a different sport. So the first one, Xanders is a hockey player. The second one, Ryan Shea, he's a basketball player. The third one, Kai, he's a baseball player. So I'm excited to see what this one's about. And then the last anticipated release that I have is Dishonestly Yours by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This comes out July 2nd. Again, I love this cover. This is gorgeous. The pink, the strawberry, the gold. It's beautiful. I don't know much. I, I don't know if this is romance or like more like just like drama lit. I, I, I really don't know. But I believe it's about this girl who she's like escaping this troubled past. And I think she's like trying to move away and like start fresh. But this guy that she used to be involved with or like her her best friend's brother. I think it's maybe her best friend and, and his her brother come with her. Like she's down to be there with the other girl, but then the other girl like drags along this guy. And I think there's a romance between them. I don't know. I really don't know. I just, I'm currently reading the Addicted series and I am excited to try something in a brand new world with brand new characters and see if I like it. So that my friends are all of the 2024 anticipated releases that are on my radar if there are any that you think i would like or any that you are excited for that i didn't mention please comment them down below so i can add them to my list 2023 was an absolute shit show for releases i feel like so many releases flopped and i just feel like the publishing industry is kind of like taking a little bit of a like doo-doo turn and we're kind of just like publishing bullshit. So I'm really hoping that more of these releases for 2024 are successful and they don't disappoint me. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna be working on filming my updated bookshelf tour. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my ASMR channel. If you're into ASMR, I upload three times a week over there. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, not this guy parking next to me. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>